Hello, this is Alex Wilkinson from SignalsAudio.com and I'm going to show you how to make drum samples using only contact. Open up contact. Okay, um, here's our samples. Uh, grab our first hits here. File, new instrument, wrench, mapping editor. We're going to use C1 as the node that triggers the hits. Just put them all here. Um, this is hard hit, so we want to do the velocities now. Hard hit's going to be 80 to 127. Uh, low will do 1 to 50. And then the medium hit will be in between, so it'll be 51 to 79. You can change these to whatever you want. And that's one hit done. Go to the group editor. Um, create an empty group. Call it group 2. And then grab our second hits. Take off edit all groups, select selected groups only. That's very important, otherwise you'll mess everything up. Same thing again. Uh, hard hit, going to be 80 to 127. Uh, low hit will be 1 to 50. Move it on over. And medium hit will be 51 to 79. Move it on over. Okay. Um, create another group. This one's group three. Take our last hits and put them on to C1. And we're going to go 80 to 127. Uh, low hit will be 1 to 50. And then uh, medium hit will be 51 to 79. Alright, move them on again. Okay, so that's. Uh, once you have all your samples ready, the next step, just uh, go to your first group and delete that envelope. And then click Edit All Groups, right click the volume knob, go Envelopes, AHDSR. This will just make sure that it doesn't do anything wonky with your samples and they play the whole way through. Uh, you can click AHD only, because you don't really need the sustain and release. Turn your hold up and your decay up and it will play the whole sample instead of cutting out or doing anything weird when the key's released. Um, I think you should keep the attack at about one millisecond just to get rid of any clips um, that you might accidentally have right at the beginning of the samples, depending how you um, exported them. If you use like an automatic method, you might have clipping at the very beginning of your samples. So just put that, you can put it to zero if you want, but uh, I'd probably just leave it at one. And then uh, you want your group start options and uh, put it on cycle random. And all of your groups have been set to that. And they should cycle randomly. You just check. That appears to be working. Or you can alternatively do um, cycle round robin, take off edit all groups. One, two, and three hits. And then they should cycle properly. Yep, and that's cool. All right. Um, edit all groups again. You're probably going to want to set your source to uh, DFD, which is lighter on the computer. Sampler will load all of the every sample right into the memory. DFD will only load the first little bit of the sample, and then it'll uh, stream it off the disk as it plays the samples. So it's a little bit lighter on CPU usage. Okay, now um, this guy's done, so we'll just uh, save it as. And... Uh, Hang on a second, I just gotta delete some stuff. Gotta get rid of this folder to show you what we're gonna do here. Create a folder called Confuse Contact. This is for multi microphone stuff only. You don't have to do this for if you're just doing uh, the singular samples. Okay, so save it in Confuse Contact as op confuse patchable samples. Okay. Um, now delete the samples, and then I'll show you what to do now. Close it, don't save. Load that, can't find the samples, that's good. And uh, we have all our samples named the same. So just choose top, and this is your final top. And then we'll double click it again. We'll direct it this time to the room mics. And these will be uh, final room. And then, 
more time for the bottom microphones. And this will be final bottom. And if you set your channels all to Omni, they should all play successfully. Turn the volume down here a bit. And then if you adjust these, it uh, you should get the corresponding microphones playing. Okay, so just um, just save those, and you can balance out the volumes or whatever you want to do. Then just uh, just save each one out. You can save them as monolith files if you don't want to worry about losing the sample folders or anything. It'll save it all as one package, and just save it as um, final top, and then you get the idea. Final room. Etc. Do the same thing for bottom. That's uh, everything you need to know. All right, cool.